Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Sorcerer Dave, and this is Interactive Oblivion. This is Ruined Tail, that's Sean Bean, and stood behind him is this annoying bastard, Ulfgar Fogai. This week's suggestion comes from, uh, ja Jasek? Jack, Jack, Jackek? Jack, 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 Jack Mr. and or Mrs. Kulinski. And their suggestion is as follows. Have Sean Bean assist you in joining the Dark Brotherhood and completing a few contracts? Very well. It shall be done. Now, of course, the first part of joining the Dark Brotherhood is we have to murder somebody. Now, I would love to murder Ulfgar Fogai here, but unfortunately, he's essential. What he's got the crown now? logo. I'd love to just murder him and then throw his body over the side of the lighthouse. It would be so good. It would make me so very happy, but unfortunately, we cannot. Someone else must die by my hand, and Martin is going to help me do it. Unfortunately, I can't kill Martin. That would be a simple solution, wouldn't it, I suppose, but no. <laughs> we must kill someone else. It can't be a bandit. It's got to be it's got to be an innocent person. Innocent ish. Somebody must die. And ideally, I'd like to get away without being caught cuz you know. I don't want to spend like a thousand gold. Actually, it's more than a thousand gold, I think, isn't it? It's like two thousand or something. Uh, or, or, or spend time in jail. Of course, I could try and escape from jail, but eh, there's more trouble than it's worth that, honestly. Since we're not in the Thieves' Guild and we have no, have no way to pay off our bounty. Uh, we just need to find somebody who we can kill. Somebody must die. Uh, ship's going to be full of people, isn't it? We need to find someone like in a house asleep. No oh, way, that's what we need to do. Probably in town, really, somewhere. Uh, private rooms. Now nah, it's going to be more than one person in there. We need to find. We need to get somebody alone by themselves. Martin's probably going to have a. Yeah, he's already gone nuts. He, he can't deal with the pathing. Whatever. I don't know if Martin will report me to the guards, though. That's that's an interesting thing, because I, I suspect he might. But he has to assist us in joining the Dark Brotherhood, you see, so... I can't... I feel like it wouldn't be in the spirit of the suggestion to leave him stood outside the house. Although, I have no fucking idea where he is right now, actually, having said that. <laughs> he disappeared. I'm gonna have to fast travel, aren't I? How are you? Greetings, Argonian. Some houses up here, aren't there? We need to level up at some point as well. Who's this guy? Hi. Does everyone in this town have the essential tag? Uh. Greetings to you. Count's arms. That's the yeah, that's the tavern. That's the inn. Quillweave's house. No, I'm pretty sure she's a goddamn quest character as well, isn't she? Gogan. Yep. No, you're a quest character. Jess and Sextius. Could go and kill two tier sexiers in Skingrad. Satisfy the whims of some of the other suggestions we've had. Make sure two tier sex just dies. Do you know what? No, though. I will leave that for a later episode. What the f What are you doing, Gogan? This isn't your house. Go away! Oh, there you are, Martin. Come on. Right. We must find Jess and Sexty. You, you, who are you? You're not Jess and Sexty. Just what are you doing here? Get out. Me. Sneak skills increased. Okay. Who are all these people? And why are they in this guy's house? Hi. You didn't see me. Don't look at me. Picking a lock. Oh, this is just not going to go according to plan at all, is it? You're not essential, at least. Neither are you. Time for oh, you shouldn't have said that, my friend. 
Okay. Okay. Hey, come on now. There's no need to get violent. Oh dear. Stop right there, criminal. Oh scum. dear. Oh dear. That's too bad. Okay. Killing someone is going to be much harder than I thought it would be. Hey, Sean Bean. Oh dear. Well, you know what? First of all, let's rest at the inn. Let's level up. And then I will figure out who the hell I should kill. Because I do not know. Do I don't have any magic spells that are going to help me with this. Not particularly. Because just finding some bandits in a cave somewhere is not going to do the job. It has to be a random person who is not hostile. Hello, I'm Wilbur. Yes, yes, yes. Give me the give me a bed. Yes. I'll take it. Thank you. Goodbye. Right. Rest for oh whatever till morning I guess. And then level up, and then I don't know. I actually don't know. Okay, strength, uh, endurance, and uh, hmm, don't know. Actually, speed. Speed. Let's take speed. Speed is good. Got to go fast. Fast lizard. That's me. Right. Hello, good sir. Hello, good sir. Get out of my way, good sir. Right. Where can we go to kill a person? Where can we go to kill a dude? Or a beggar. Who will help an old beggar? I could stab an old beggar, but unfortunately, I think the guards might have something to say about that. There's those random civilians at Kvatch. I could maybe try and kill one of them. But then all the others would notice and it would, ah, oh, no, that'd be a disaster. Need to find some, you know what? You know what, let's go to Skingrad. Because, uh, no, Eastgate. Because, for whatever reason in this game, you sometimes see random travelers around Skingrad, don't you? Like, uh, it just seems to be random people that wander around. Out here. Particularly at this end of the town. Not including that guard down there. I've gone completely the wrong way actually to get down there. Oh Martin, you're gonna you're gonna have you're gonna have issues with this, aren't you? You're gonna have issues with this. There is someone traveling around out here, and it's a flipping guard. I mean, killing a guard would, would count, for sure. It's just, uh, I don't know if I can kill the guy. Guards are strong. And I am weak. You! You, random woman. Here, this is the person I was thinking of. They're in the middle of nowhere. Without an essential tag. Ho 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 ho! Did you pick the wrong road to stand on? Okay, right. Martin, please turn up. Martin! She's gonna go away soon. Martin, I require your assistance as per the agreement of the suggestion. Fucking moron. I don't know where he is, okay. And I'm not going to wait around to find out. Whatever you're looking for, I'm sure I don't know how to find it. Yes, 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 whatever. Okay. What's going on? Yes, fight me. Fight me. Don't run away. Fight me. I give up. No, 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 no. Oh, God, no. What's going on? That's not what I meant to do. No, no. Resist arrest. Ah. Come back! Don't run away, please! <sighs> Flashbot. She's a dark elf, though. She's resistant to flipping. Yeah! Fire! 
Oh, there's Martin. Better late than never, eh? Right, we've done it. She's dead. We might have to try and kill you as well, honestly. Um, <laughs> it's not going to make a difference, though. You can't kill all the witnesses and then have it... Oh, no. Bounty 1,000. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is a disaster. Okay, fine. Fight fire! Oh, piss off, Martin. Honestly. All right, fine. I yield. Stop! You violate. Hope you rot, criminal scum. Uh, I really didn't have any stolen goods on me. Right. There's no point in breaking out, because I'll just have a bounty, even more of a bounty on me. I'm almost, I'm almost dead as well. Good grief. Look at that. All right, so fine. Serve my time. I don't know. How long do you... This is a good experiment. How long do you get for murder in this... In this... In this... In this country? Right, so our armor... Athletics decreased by one. Blade decreased by two. Block one. Blunt one. Hand-to-hand -hand decreased by one. Heavy armor decreased by three. Didn't get any of the increases. That's that's annoying. Sometimes you get like a... Maybe that's just a Morrowind thing. But you, sometimes you get an increase... Like lock picking and sneak and stuff like that, which would have been helpful, but never mind. Uh, are these still hotkeyed? They are. Thank goodness. Right. Hi, Martin. He's not very happy with us, is he? <laughs> He's not very happy at all. Right. Okay. 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 But we did it. That's Hi. the main thing. We did it. Hi. Hi, ex murderer that's just been released from prison. Hi. How are you doing? How long were we in there for? It's now the 10th of Heartfire. Third era, 433. When does the game start? Completed quests. 30th of Last Seed. And it's now the 10th of Heartfire. So basically, we got we went to prison for like... About 10 days for murder. What is it? The justice system in, in Cyrodiil is clearly very broken indeed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We got 10 days in prison for murder. That seems legit. Definitely. Anyway, okay, whatever. <laughs> I checked the year just to be just to be sure it wasn't like a year in 10 days. But even even just a year for murder would be ridiculous. But okay, fine. <clears throat> it's a video game. Just got to remember that, I suppose. It's a video game. Right. But then, even when you consider, like, the way the, the, the fines work, like, it's so broken. Like, basically, if you're rich enough in, in, in Tamriel, you can murder anybody you like. You just, just, you just pay the fine. Straight away. Like, that person over there, I don't like him, I'm going to kill him now. Oh, here you go, here you go, guards, here's your 1,000 gold. I'll be on my way now, thank you very much. You can just murder anybody you like, as long as you've got the cash. I suppose like it's almost a tax on murder, isn't it, really? When you think about it. It's like, okay, we're not gonna make murder like properly legal. You know, like you're not gonna be you're not gonna get the death penalty or like life imprisonment for it, but we'll we'll make you pay a grand if you want to murder someone. That way the state makes lots of money off of people murdering each other. Yeah, we'll just tax it. We'll tax it. Anyway, I'm wandering off down a random road and I don't even know why. We need to wait. We need to go somewhere and wait for Monsieur Lucien Lachance to turn up. I'm just now realizing that it would have been kind of cool if Lucien Lachance had a French accent, but never mind. Never mind. I'm just gonna. Whatever. Let's get Grad Westgate. Let's go. Okay. Into the tavern, where shall we, we shall oh wait. What? Bed. Yes. Go up. How much gold do I have? 426. That's ah, okay. What is it it's now? Po bit of pocket change in it. I'm not going to run out anytime soon just by, just by renting beds, clearly. All right. Come to my room, Martin. Wish we shall await the spooky man in the black robe. 24 hours, let's go. And he's already here, brilliant. 
You sleep rather soundly for a murderer. That's good. You'll need a clear conscience for what I'm about to propose. <gasps> Who are you? I am Lucian the Chance, a speaker for the Dark Brotherhood and you. You are a killer, taker of life, a harvester of souls. Your work, your death craft, pleases the Night Mother. And so, I come to you with an offering, an opportunity to join our rather unique family. Please continue, Mr. Lachance. Ah, I find your etiquette refreshing. Now please, listen carefully. On the green road to the north of Breville lies the Inn of Ill Omen. There you will find a man named Rufio. Kill him, and your initiation into the Dark Brotherhood will be complete. Do this, and the next time you sleep in a location I deem secure, I will reveal myself once more, bearing the love of your new family. Rufio will die by my hand! <laughs> Excellent. Now please, accept this token from the Dark Brotherhood. It is a virgin blade and thirsts for blood. May it serve your endeavors well. Now, I bid you farewell. I do hope we'll meet again soon. Indeed. Your path is clear. Send Rufio to his death, and the Dark Brotherhood will embrace you as family. We're joining the Dark Brotherhood, Sean Bean. Come on. I know you're like the Emperor's heir and everything, but who cares? We're, we're becoming assassins now, chum. That's what's happening. Yes, indeed. Now, this affords me an opportunity to, to uh, actually incorporate some earlier suggestions I saw in the comments, but that didn't get picked at this point, because I there were some rather amusing suggestions involving Rufio in the Dark Brotherhood. One of which was to <laughs> basically go to kill Rufio, but somehow make it so that Martin is the one that kills him. We want Martin to kill Rufio. Not Random Tail, Martin has to kill Rufio. Now, based on that earlier incident... It might be the case that if Martin's with us and we attack Rufio, Martin might attack us rather than him helping us in fighting Rufio. So what I might need for this to work is a frenzy spell or a, at least a frenzy scroll. So that's what I'm going to go look for. We're going to go to the Imperial City Market District and I'm going to see if I can get either a frenzy scroll or a frenzy spell. Basically. So they can cast that on Rufio, which will cause Rufio to attack me, which hopefully will mean that Martin will attack Rufio. What is he even doing okay. over there? I don't know what's wrong with him. Anyway, so let's let's have a look here. And use, and use discount, discount spells. This will be the one time I can't find a blasted frenzy spell, of course. Edgar, what? Only quality goods for sale here. What can I interest you in? Yeah, nothing there. Bye. What about this magic shop here? Mr. Kimporium, that's the one. Do you have scrolls, sir? Welcome to the... Yeah, Mr. Mr. Kimporium. I offer the finest blah, 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 blah. goods and lowest prices in all Cyrodiil. Uh, he doesn't have a frenzy spell, does he? Doesn't have one. There's always the mages' guilds we can try, though. No, he doesn't seem to have one. Does he have a spell? Only quality goods for sale here. What can I interest you Touch in? Touch Rage. Frenzy. And I, I believe I can cast it as well, yes. Costs 30 Magicka. 164 gold. Frenzy up to level 18 with 30 seconds on touch. I'm, I'm going to assume that Rufio is under level 18. It would be a you. bit mad if he wasn't. Goodbye. Especially in vanilla. Uh, right, okay. Frenzy spell acquired. Brilliant. Touch of Rage. There we go. So now, we must away to the Inn of Ill Omen. 
and the fastest way to get there will be via Breville. Right. It's the middle of the night, but that's perfect. That is, in fact, perfect. Come along, Martin. I know my horse is there, but... If we can take the horse, Martin will just get left behind and it'll be proper annoying. So we'll go on foot. Besides, to be honest, it's a paint horse, so it's actually probably not much faster than us right now. Hello, random deers. What can you do with your meat? Man, the arrows fly slowly in this game, don't they? Like, that seems almost unusually slow, even for vanilla. Like, that's weird. Are you meant to go that slow? That's just... That seems wrong to me. I'll have, to, I'll have to go look at previous videos and see if it's different or not. Because that seems very strange. Anyway, come along, Martin. We must go to the Inn of Ill Omen and slay Rufio. <laughs> yes. And hopefully this will work. I mean, if it doesn't, it wasn't technically this week's suggestion to have Martin kill Rufio. But obviously, once we've killed Rufio, we can never have that suggestion again. So I'm going to try and kill two birds with one stone here. It wasn't picked, but since we can never pick it again, I might as well give it a go. Gotcha. Very undignified way to die, that, I think. But we gotcha. Oh, a wolf. Hello. This road, I'm used to it being... Do you mind? I'm used to it being a bit more full of... No, they don't have wolf meat because we're playing vanilla. I'm used to it being a bit more crowded, honestly, because I usually play with mods, and the mods seem to make this particular road just covered in boars and wolves and bandits all the time, but in, in, clearly in vanilla it's, it's actually quite quiet. I don't know what I was hoping for there, honestly. Come on. I'm wasting good steel arrows on you as well. What's wrong with me? Should switch to iron. Don't forget to quick save. You never know when this game's going to crash. I mean, I'm hoping it won't ever because we're playing vanilla. But that would be probably asking too much of Bethesda. Wouldn't it? All right. We found the Inn of Ill Omen. Oh, thanks for the steel arrows. A few more, please? That would be nice. Did you completely miss that? He did. Look, my goodness, you are a terrible archer, sir. He's like me trying to play Kingdom Come Deliverance without a crosshair mod. I think that was supposed to be him walking over to collect his arrows, but there were none to collect because I got them all! <laughs> Mr. Infinite Steel Arrows, man. Well, how did you manage that? How did you... He hasn't managed to hit it a single time. So I'm in your way. the worst archer in the universe goodness me what is it citizen you, you don't quit your day job whatever it is right hello we got plenty of rooms if you want one ain't nobody staying here these days except old rufio <laughs> that's a horrible name for an inn i know but i just can't bring myself to change it Besides, I like the sign. Rufio? He's an old codger. Been living here for a couple of weeks now. If you ask me, he's hiding from something. But what do I care? He pays his tab. His room is downstairs, in what I like to call the private quarters. Use that hatch in the floor over there. But don't expect a warm reception. 
Good. Farewell, and tell your friends the Inn of Ill Omen is open for business, as always. Indeed. Do you know what? It's just occurred to me we might not even need the frenzy spell. I think I might be able to talk to him and provoke him into attacking me first. Whatever, I've quick saved, so we'll certainly find out. Come on, Martin. We are the stealthiest assassins ever. Come on in. Shut the door behind you. You amateur. Come on. Right. Sup, Rufio? Who are you? What do you want? I ain't done nothing. Oh, but you have, Rufio. No, please. I didn't mean to do it, you understand me? She struggled. I... I told her to just stay still, but she wouldn't listen. I had no choice. Ooh, Rufio's a piece of work. Oh, and he's running away. There we go. That's it. Come back here. Kill him, Martin. Slay him for the Dark Brother. You did it. Look at him. He's going flying and everything. The man named Rufio is dead. The next time I sleep in a location he deems secure, Lucien Lachance will visit me once more and complete my entrance into the Dark Brotherhood. Whee! And Martin's entrance into the Dark Brotherhood as well, yes. But yeah, it's, it's funny. There's a whole little backstory about around Rufio and why someone wants him, him dead. You can... I think there's a letter or something you can find in the Imperial City that goes into it a bit more. Um, but, but yeah, he's, he's a nasty man, Rufio. He's a nasty, nasty man. He kind of deserves what's coming to him. But anyway, well done, Martin. Well done. Now we shall both join the Dark Brotherhood. <laughs> you know, it'd be so cool if I could actually access his inventory and make him wear, like, the Dark Brotherhood outfit and everything. It'd be so funny. Anyway, anyway... A location deemed secure. I wonder if out of curiosity. Yep. Yeah, I'm just going to sleep in Rufio's bed. Brilliant. So, the deed is done. How do I know this? Because he's you on the floor over the there. That's how you know. <laughs> a great many things, for you are now part of the family. Oh, man. Lucy on the chance is a bit tapped, honestly. But he can travel through time. We 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 discovered that on Twitch. You'll you'll have to watch the vods on on the on the on the live channel to understand that particular joke. But but uh, suffice to say, Lucy in the chance is a time traveler. Everybody, my life for the Brotherhood. Indeed, for the slaying of Rufio was the signing of a covenant. The manner of execution, your signature, Rufio's blood, the ink. As a speaker of the Black Hand, I directly oversee a particular group of family members. You will join that group and fulfill any contracts given. You must now go to the city of Chadenhall, to the abandoned house near the Eastern Wall. Enter the basement and attempt to open the Black Door. You will be asked a question. Answer thusly. Sanguine, my brother. You will gain entrance to the sanctuary. Once inside, speak with Ochiva. We must now take our leave of each other, you and I, for there is much work to be done. I'll be following your progress. Welcome to the family. Brilliant. You are now one with the Dark Brotherhood. Visit Ochiva at the Chaden Hall Sanctuary. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, right. It is gloriously pantomime, isn't it? It is so daft. It is so silly. Admittedly, it was a... What is going on over there? I don't know. Admittedly, it was a bit of a culture shock when I first played this. After playing Morrowind, of course, where... Uh, you know, you have the Morag Tong instead, and the Morag Tong, by comparison, are very serious, and uh, and uh, and they have serious deep lore, and the game takes it very seriously, and they're a genuinely very interesting faction with a very interesting lore and whole and stuff, so on and so forth, with the whole legal assassination system, the house war stuff, the writs you get, and all that kind of thing. And then you come into this game, and then Bethesda's just it's like, okay, so the assassin faction in this game is going to be extremely campy, and we're going to turn it up to 11, and it's going to be lots of cackling and swishing of capes. Etc. Uh, I'm not saying that either approach is better than the other, it's just it was quite a shock when I first 
when I first played this game after Morrowind. So, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sod off guard. Oh, God, come on. We can lockpick. It's fine. I did a whole Let's Play as a thief, didn't I? I know how to lockpick. There we go. Right. Into the basement. <laughs> to the black door. Could do with mopping this up, guys. Just saying. Sanguine, my brother. I have gained interest in, into the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. I must now speak with Ochiva. Unfortunately, it does not appear it, that Martin has joined us, which is a bit of a shame, but never mind. Greetings, brother. Greetings. I am Oshiva, mistress of this sanctuary. Lucien has told me all about you. I welcome you to the Dark Brotherhood. You stand now in our sanctuary. May it serve as your new home, a place of comfort and security whenever the need arises. When you're ready for work, go and speak with Vicente Valtieri. He handles all assignments for new family members. But before you go, please accept this gift from your new family. A unique set of armor, lighter than normal leather and black as the void. Now, I've kept you long enough. The Chente is waiting. You'll find him in his quarters. Go now, my child, and may Sithis go with you. Hooray! Go now, dear family member, and may the Night Mother wrap you in her cold, loving embrace. Hooray! Now then, uh, this armor, is it better or worse than this stuff we're wearing already? Air yeah, curiosity. It's better. Excellent. And it fortifies sneak and stuff. The shrouded hood as well. We're going to look mega conspicuous walking around town during the day, but it's fine. Nobody will suspect a thing. Hello, Dark Guardian. Hello. I wish to welcome you to this sanctuary, my newest brother. Pine Arbor. I've heard but so much about you. Welcome to our family. She probably has, actually, because we are simultaneously the hero of Kavach, the murderer of Skingrad, and now, now, now an assassin in the Dark Brotherhood. And our traveling companion is the son of the Emperor, so, you know, word gets around. Right. Mr. Vicente. Ah, here you are. So good to finally meet you. Warmest greetings to you. I trust you've already spoken with Ochiva. I am Vicente Valtieri. I provide assignments for all new family members. Please do not let my appearance unnerve you. The needs and tenets of the Dark Brotherhood come before my own needs as a vampire. Now, if you're ready to get to work, I can provide you with your first contract. Yes, please. A contract is a secret pact one enters into with the Dark Brotherhood. They provide us with gold, and we remove someone from existence. A contract is fulfilled by a skilled assassin such as yourself, who keeps the Dark skilled. Brotherhood's end of the bargain. So it has always been. While carrying out a contract, you may have the opportunity to earn a bonus if certain parameters are met. Now, let's begin, shall we? I'm not sure how you feel about pirates, but you've got to kill one. A captain, in fact, on his ship, surrounded by his crew. Interested? Yes, please. Excellent. Here is what you must do. Go to the waterfront district of the Imperial City. There you will find a ship named the Marie Elena. Board the ship and find its captain, Gaston Toussaud. He'll be in his cabin. Eliminate Toussaud in any manner you see fit. The pirates have been moving a lot of cargo on board lately. You may be able to smuggle yourself on board in one of the packing crates. Oh, and one more thing. 
get into the habit of asking your fellow family members about any current contract. Their insight may prove invaluable. Marvellous. Excellent. Very good. If, if I recall, that's the pirate ship whose crew was always bullying poor Arthur in the, in, in the Thief Let's Play. Right. Hello. Warmest welcomes to you. I am Talendril, Wood Elf, and loyal daughter of Sithis. I hope you find our sanctuary to your liking. Yes, yes. Contract. Pirates, eh? They tend to be quick and good with a blade, but don't favor armor. They're not fond of bows or spells either. Mm hmm. There you are. Our... Welcome. Welcome to the family. I'd hug you, but Ochiba told me not to. <laughs> so, your first contract. No chance for a bonus, huh? Oh, that's all right. You're better off. Who needs magic items when you've got raw skill? And the great thing about killing a target up close and personal is you can talk to him before you do it. You know, say something scary. Oh, for example, this one time, I had a contract to kill a little Nord girl at her birthday party. <laughs> she asked me if I was the jester. So I said to her, No, I am a messenger of death. <laughs> you should have seen the look on her face. <laughs> anyway, she won't be seeing age six. <laughs> Oh, this ridiculous faction. Okay, right. Uh, you. Advice and or help. I see you've accepted the contract from Vicente. Very good. With every life you take, Sithis grows stronger and the Brotherhood flourishes. Every breath you take, every life you take. Every wound I make, every stab I... Oh, uh, run out of words that rhyme. I'll be watching you. But anyway. I killed a pirate once. Of course, the ship was out to sea at the time. Somewhere between Vardenfell and Solstheim. Now those were the days. Yes, indeed they were. Go now, dear family member. And... You. Welcome, brother. So good to finally meet you. I hope you're getting along all right. Yes, indeed. I've traveled by prison ship. It was cramped and dark. There was little room to move around, but plenty of shadowy nooks to hide in. Remember that. Indeed. I'll be seeing you then. Anyone else? Tynava, there he is. You are Argonian, yes, but you are no shadow scale. What chaos you must have known as a hatchling. Thanks, Sithis, you have come home at last. Welcome. The Marie Elena, you say? I've seen that ship. There's a unique balcony at the stern. My guess is it leads to the captain's cabin. Could be useful. Probably will be. May Sithis be with you. Well, thank you, fellow assassins. But now I must leave. Hello, Martin. We have our first contract. We're going to kill a pirate captain. And I'm going to do it by wasting no bloody time at all and fast traveling straight to the waterfront. Here we go. And the Maria Lena is just over here now. There's ways to do this. You can just walk on, start fighting pirates. You can try and get in via the balcony. Can you shut up? Uh, <laughs> put me off. Or the other option is, yes, you hide in this crate. I believe you could effectively hide in this crate and then be transported to the pirate ship Maria Elena. Do you wish to hide in the crate or try to find your own way aboard the ship? I'm going to do this. I'm wondering if Martin will hide in there with us. I'm going to... Hold on. Quick save. Oh, I'm not going to get the option now, am I? 
It's not gonna let me do it. Maybe if I walk away a bit further and then come back. There we go. Try and hide in the crate. I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna be very curious to see if. Right. Yeah. Just as expected, the crate I hid in has been transported into the ship's hold by Nidkill, the Captain Gaston. Yes, Martin is here. Brilliant. <laughs> Okay, he also hid another crate, I suppose. Very good. All right. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant stuff. Okay. Don't know where that wooden door goes, and I don't really care. I'm telling you, lad, it's bad luck. A woman on board a pirate vessel. Back in my day, it never would have happened. Oh, come now. How many times has Malva was saved our necks, huh? Captain Tussauds keeps her on for a reason. She's a better sailor than any one of us. Hold there, man. Now you're just being insulted. She may be tougher than me, <laughs> and me too. Pirate dialogue. Sailor. It ain't even possible. All right, how could I forget? That time we were almost dashed upon the rocks near the... I know what we can do here. To be a first we can use this. That was somebody else at the helm. I told you a Sneaky times, random tail. The wheel was Captain's cabin. Here we go. Brilliant. Hi, Martin. There he is. I think he spotted me, but never mind. Hello there. You ain't one of me crew. What business you be having here, mate? What in blazes? You ain't one of me crew. You best start explaining yourself, mate, if you want to get off this ship alive. The Dread Father summons you. Ah, what are you, some kind of preacher or something? One of them crazies from the church? I ain't got time for this. We're gonna fight? We're gonna fight. That the best you can do? Assist me, Martin! Really? There we go. Why, Martin, you are becoming quite the assassin, aren't you? Uh oh. Is that this? And uh, of course, nobody gets assassinated like Gaston! That's one for the Kikoskia fans in the audience. Uh, oh, right, we've got some known route, in case that matters. Take the wine, grab all of the things, Martin, quick! Grab, grab the stuff! Loot the things! Get the treasure! Actually, hold them off while I continue. Um, see. Something like those, I, I guess. That wouldn't hurt. Fall of the snow prints. Sure. Most generic note. Seal cutlass. I forgot about that. Uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll have his clothes as well, because why not? Well then, Martin, you took care of them all, I see. Ah, more cutlasses, brilliant. Excellent. Well done, me lad. Let's, let's leave now, shall we? Um, I'm sure he'll catch up. Maybe he's decided to go and murder the rest of the crew. No, there he is. There he is. Very good. Very good. <laughs> all right. Okay. Mission accomplished. Oh, hello. Let's go and turn this one in, shall we? I can run a bit faster if I have a bow equipped. No, I can't. Get lost, beggar. I'm not playing the Thieves Guild. Right now, anyway. Right, I'll be back with our with our payment shortly, Martin. Where's everyone gone? They've all bagged off. They really have, actually. Where, where have they all gone? Maybe they're off getting dinner or something. 
But he's a vampire, which for, for whom getting dinner means a whole different thing. There you are. So, the pirate has been eliminated. Excellent. No one will mourn his passing, and Sithis has been appeased. Please accept this black band as your reward. It is a ring whose powers are quite useful to those who value discretion. Yay! Got a thing. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right. For now, ladies and gentlemen, though, that is going to be it. We joined the Dark Brotherhood and we did a contract all with the assistance of good old Sean Bean. Come, Sean, let's go outside. Stand out in public in my conspicuous assassin armor. With Martin. There we go. Brilliant! Right, ladies and gentlemen, another one in the bag. Suggestion completed. Leave your comments below and maybe it'll get picked for the next week's suggestion. Uh, I, who knows what it's going to be. The fun thing about sitting down to record these on Sunday is that I have no flipping clue what I'm going to be doing. It's brilliant. It's absolute potluck. I sit down, I hit the pick winner button and, and something mad comes out. And I think it's jolly good fun. So anyway, leave your suggestion for next week below and maybe, just maybe, it'll get picked. There you go. I actually completed more than one suggestion in this video too. I, I, I did the bonus... I did the bonus uh, Rufio suggestion as well while I was at it, so there you go. Uh, yeah. Very efficient, efficient interactive oblivion that's playing from, from yours truly, if I do say so myself. Anyway, <laughs> that's it for me for this week, ladies and gents. Leave your suggestions below, and I will see you next Sunday with whatever our next task is. Until then, toodaloo.